welcome to Lynn's Recipes. Today I'm making three cheese manicotti. To make this dish, these are the ingredients that you will need. You'll need a pound or 14 manicotti shells that have been cooked, drained, and cooled. And for the filling, you'll need a 32 ounce container of ricotta cheese. You'll need one and a half cups of shredded mozzarella, a half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese, a tablespoon of freshly chopped parsley, a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground nutmeg, two eggs, and a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. As you fill your manicotti shells, you'll need to lay them in a 9 by 13 baking dish that has been sprayed with cooking spray. And once it's completely filled, you'll pour one and a half cups of pasta sauce over it. And you can use jarred or you can make homemade in whatever variety that you prefer. Then after that, you would put a half a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese on top and a quarter cup of shredded Parmesan cheese on top. Then we're going to put it in a 350 degree preheated oven for 35 minutes or until it's nice, hot, and bubbly and you do it uncovered. So now I'm going to mix my filling. I've already put my 32 ounces of the ricotta cheese in the bowl and now I'm going to add my eggs. My mozzarella cheese goes in, my parmesan cheese, my tablespoon of freshly chopped parsley, my half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper, and now I'm going to grade my nutmeg in. And it takes, it's a quarter of a teaspoon, so I'm just going to grate till I think I've got about a quarter of a teaspoon. I like the freshly ground nutmeg better than the already ground that you buy at the grocery store. That looks about right. So now what we're going to do is just stir this all together. Our filling is all mixed together, so now we're ready to stuff our um, manicotti shells. Some people like to use a pastry bag to stuff these shells, but I'm just going to use a spoon. So, you grab one of your shells. And I will say that sometimes when you boil these shells, they do tend to break apart a little bit, and sometimes they'll completely come apart, but that doesn't really matter because you can just Wrap it around the filling and put the seam that's broken down on the bottom of the pan, and it'll be fine. So this is the way I'd like to do it. I just take spoonfuls and start at one end and slide it in. And then I turn it around and do the other end. You just put it in until it's full and it meets into the middle. Okay, and then just lay it in your pan. Okay, do one more. Okay, so this is our last one going into the pan. And this is what they look like when they're in the pan before we put the sauce on them. So now I'm going to pour my pasta sauce over the top of the manicotti. Let's try to get it over some over each piece. Actually, I can grab a spoon and kind of even it out a little bit. Sprinkle the rest of the mozzarella over top. And 
then the rest of my parmesan. And now it's ready to put in a 350 degree oven for 35 minutes. Our three cheese manicotti is done. I just got it out of the oven and this is what it looks like. So now I'll put some on a plate and show you. It's really cheesy. I've chosen to serve this with uh, garlic parmesan rolls and this is something that I have previously shown you how to make. I hope you enjoy this recipe.